I don't know how to start this. I'm not used to being by myself. This is different. <laughs> okay. Hello. YouTube. I'm Tori Genesis. This is my first YouTube video on this channel. If you've seen me before, you probably saw me with my boyfriend on our channel. I decided to step outside of my comfort zone and make my own channel. This is something that I've been wanting to do for so long, but I just didn't know how to do it because there's so many more things that I want to show y'all. Look, like starting off this video looking ratchet. Like, look at that already. I just can't. Anyway, I wanted to make sure I was fully prepared to start a channel before I actually started it. And so I made a list full of like videos I want to try. So let's get into it. So in this video, I'm going to show you all how I achieved this beautiful blue Instagram theme. This is something that I've been working on for so long and it took me so long to do. It was so hard trying to figure out how I wanted my Instagram to be. I'm going to show y'all how I do it because I always got so many questions about what apps I use or if I use Lightroom or Lightroom desktop, whatever version. If I use presets, don't use presets or Lightroom. If you watch any of our other videos on me and Cam's channel, you'd know that I don't really wear colors. I stick to black, gray, white, blue, neutrals. And so I kind of wanted my Instagram to be like that. So I didn't want to do anything, you know, too bright. So if I did happen to wear colors, I couldn't post it. Just know that. I could, but I didn't want to mess up my theme with like a bright pink shirt on. For this theme, I recommend sticking to a white, gray, black, or blue background. White just looks clean. Every theme looks good with it. Black and gray, you can alter those to kind of look blue. And of course, blue backgrounds work really well depending on what color blue it is. One other thing I wanna say is lighting. Lighting is super important. I always try to have natural lighting. I think artificial light alters everything. Your skin tone gets thrown off. The color of your clothes get thrown off. The background looks kind of yellowish. Artificial lighting just isn't the same. So I always try to stick to natural lighting. I just love natural light. If I'm taking pictures outside, I like natural light, but me standing in the shade. If it's an overcast outside, it's the perfect picture taking weather to me. I like the kind of shadows it gives. I do not like direct sunlight because my skin tone gets thrown off and then the edits don't exactly work for that. Another thing, how many things do I have? I have so many. Something I always do, I usually take pictures with a camera. Well, iPhone cameras are amazing. The camera quality is improving so much, but it's just not the same. I think, of course, everything's thrown off with the iPhone camera. Your skin tone looks different than it does like with a Canon camera. Even the G7X looks different than an iPhone camera if you take pictures with those. I'm not filming on that, but like, it does. So right now, like, it's an overcast outside, but it's enough light coming in to where this is like how I like my skin tone to look. Yeah, but let's get started. These are all the apps I usually use to edit anything from thumbnails to Instagram stories to Instagram photos. This is what I use. I'm gonna edit two pictures for you guys. One picture is where it has a white, like a clear white background that looks good. And then another one, it's gonna be like a yellow background, beige color background, something. So I always start off with the app Snapseed. We're gonna open a picture here, open some device. Something I always do whenever I take pictures, I'll load all of them into my phone, but then I go through and select the ones I like. As you can see, that's what I've been doing right here. This is a picture I took at Disney World almost a year ago. This picture was one of the prettiest pictures I thought, and Cam took it. He really got all the good angles. No people were in the background. It was great. So the first thing I do is press tools, then press details. I scroll down until I get to the sharpening tool, and I like to sharpen in the 30s. That's really where I kind of end it. This looks too sharp to where it doesn't even look like you took it on camera anymore, and then this is just like not enough, you know? So let's add, let's add to like 37. Keep in mind that I do change all of these levels. I don't stick to the same level each time. It all depends on the picture and I recommend you to do the same if you're trying the same out. 
Then I recently started adding a little structure to it, not much, but a little bit. Then press a check mark, go back to tools, and then tune image. I like to add a lot of brightness to my pictures. So we're gonna add, like that's way too much, but we're gonna add to like 56, because I think that looks good. Then we're gonna bring the contrast down. I always bring the contrast down only a tiny bit. This just looks too much. And then we're bringing saturation down a little bit. The ambiance we want to bring up that really brings out your skin tone and we're gonna bring the highlights up a little bit. Then the check mark. Another thing that I do, if I see another color that's just in there way too much, I go to tools, then I go to brush and we go to saturation and we're gonna bring the saturation down to negative 10. Like this yellow is just in there way too much. So we're gonna go and brush through this a little bit. I want you to be able to see that it's still yellow and not, I didn't just like whiten the whole thing. Okay, I see like this new lamp needs to come down a little bit. I'm doing it really messy because like I said, this photo is almost a year old and it's already been up on my Instagram for that long. So then we're gonna press the check mark and then you, you're gonna go to this little arrow, back arrow thing at the top. Press view edits, press the three dots at the top and press copy. This is really important if you plan on editing pictures the exact same way. Like if you took multiple pictures that day but didn't know which one you wanted to post until after you edited them. Go ahead and press that so next time when you load the next picture in you can go right to that and then press insert and those same exact settings will go into that one. So we're going to export this. We're going to press save a copy because we don't want to alter the original photo. I think it's just really important to keep your original photo in case you want to edit another way. So then we're going to head into Visco. We're going to load this photo in. Go to edit. I always use A5. I don't switch to any other filter. I always use A5. I like the full intensity on this picture, but it's throwing my skin tone off a little bit. So we're gonna go down to like 8.4. I think that looks clean enough. Save to camera roll. Then we're gonna go into darkroom. What I do in darkroom is something that you can do in Lightroom too. And I already made like my kind of preset. It brings the blue colors up a little bit. To make this preset, I went into like the three circles. For the oranges, I brought the saturation down to negative 10. This is something that you can copy completely if you like the way it looks. The yellows brought the saturation down to negative 24. The teal color brought the saturation up to 37. And then the dark blue, I brought the saturation up to 24 and the luminance up to 17. And then after you do that, you can go to back to this and press create new filter. I just happen to call mine blue up because the blue goes up. It elevates the blue of the picture. So then press modify original because this is our Visco version of it. Now we're gonna go into the app feeder. Feeder allows you to plan out your feed. You can see what your picture is gonna look like with your feed. You can preview your posts. Let's preview this. This new picture won't fit in this new theme that I'm doing, but it would have fit in this old theme that I was doing. Feeder is also great if you wanna plan out. Like right now in Feeder, I'm planning out my feed for a while. I just haven't posted any yet, but I'm planning it out. We're gonna edit one that the background isn't as white as we want. So it's a yellow background or a beige background or something like that. So we're gonna go into Facetune. We're gonna load in a photo. We're gonna load in this photo at maximum size. And we're gonna press whiten. We're gonna use this whiten tool everywhere. I think whitening blacks and grays looks kind of weird. It just doesn't look right to me. And look at the difference just in that. So we're gonna wipe the other side. And because this picture is already on my Instagram, I'm doing it kind of sloppy, but I just wanna do it enough so you can see the difference. And always go back with your eraser and erase like around your hairline or wherever you're whitening, just so you don't accidentally like make yourself look ashy. Then don't forget the little spots down here. That's what I see with a lot of Instagram influencers. They forget to whiten like the whole picture, you know? And it just doesn't look right. 
So we're gonna press the check mark and then that's all we're gonna do in Facetune. Sometimes I do Facetune my pictures. I mean, it's just the kind of day and age we're in. You know, sometimes I like to bring my shoulders in a little bit because I was a gymnast for so long so I have really, really broad shoulders. I just, I think it's okay. As long as you're not trying to hide like you didn't. Don't bring your waist in so it's so small and then try to hide and say you didn't edit it when you know you did. It obviously looks photoshopped. I think it's perfectly fine. An Instagram culture is so big and relevant right now that, I mean, you gotta do that to fit in sometimes. So we're gonna press save to camera roll. And now we're going back to Snapseed. We're gonna open from device and then open this recent picture. Like I said, because it's not the same day, like I wasn't editing another Disney picture, I'm not gonna go in and press this, view edits and then insert, but I could. I just know the picture is gonna look different, so I'm gonna need different edits. So we're gonna go in with the tools again, bring the sharpening up. We're gonna bring the brightness up, and you see like this picture needs a lot to get my skin tone, like how the other pictures look on my feed when the Disney picture obviously didn't need this much. That's why I said it all depends on the picture. This picture does have natural light, but the sun was going down and we are standing in the shade. So let's bring the contrast down, bring the saturation down a little bit. The ambiance needs to come up. That really brightened the picture up and bring the, the highlights up. So now export, save a copy. Now we're gonna go into Visco. Add this picture in. We're gonna go back to A5 and look how I made it. I think I really do stick in between like the eight or stick in the eight. Here, I didn't even say who this was. This is a picture during sorority recruitment with my little. That's my little. I made a video about that on our other channel. Go check it out. Okay, so save the camera roll. Then back to dark room. And we're gonna bring the blue up and see how it brought like the oranges down. But I do have other presets here. This one was like no oranges. This one was a little orange and I don't know what else I did for that one. And this one was like really clean looking. I like the way that one looks. I might get back to it. What did I do for that one? That's pretty much what I'm doing now actually with my new theme. Okay, so for this, we're bringing blue up, modify original, and we can go back to feeder, and it fits. If you just like cover up the other ones that I just started doing, but it fits. If I notice that I don't like the color of the shutters or something else in the background and I can't really change it without making it look weird, I go into Pixar, I press the plus sign, Go to this picture and you see what I mean? Like the shutters, they're just so brown now and it looks weird. So I'll go into mask. And as you can see, I use red hot a lot, use on fire. So I think I want to use on fire, but we're going to flip it over and then flip it like that. We're going to change the hue of it. We're going to change the hue to where it's blue. Bring the opacity down just a little bit. Now we're going to press the eraser. It's so loud! And we're going to erase like on our faces. What I just did, I just pressed the little person down there and it sort of erases it. Sometimes it doesn't work, that's why I like to go in and do it by myself. But then you can press the check mark and then apply. Then we're gonna go back, do mask, and do on fire, flip this over, and do it again for the other side. You can press the check mark, apply, next, save. I don't like doing this with every single picture because sometimes it can start to look fake. Like the background doesn't even look real and you can tell that I altered it, but it's needed sometimes. Okay, well that's it for how I edit my YouTube video. Okay, well that's how I edit my Instagram pictures were edited. Let me know if you wanna see an updated one, like how I edit my Instagram pictures now. I just know that I got so many questions 
about how I did this blue theme and it, it's just easier to say go watch a video than okay this is how I do it get this app and do all this let me know down below what you want to see from me I can do how I edit my Instagram stories except now Instagram has those filters on there that people make to where you don't even have to go to another app to even edit your Instagram stories anymore how I edit my YouTube thumbnails or how I even edit my YouTube videos I do a lot on my phone I just have a lot of videos planned workout routines what I eat in a day how to reach out to brands and companies for sponsorships or collabs I want to do some try on hauls for you guys and anything else please comment below let me know what you want to see from this channel I wanted to make sure I was prepared before starting it so I feel like I'm pretty much there now so yeah <laughs> But thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.